Hey, fishing friends, how would you like to be able to walk into a tackle shop and look on the on the, on the the shelves and be able to tell how deep a lure is going to run and the action on the lure, on crankbaits specifically? Well, you can't. You know, a few years back, it's been a while now, but I wrote a book called Crankbait Secrets, and all of these things were broken down into uh, into detail in that inside that the chapters of that book. But here's the basic basic fundamentals, the basic physics of crankbaits. When you look at a crankbait, and you see, crankbaits, by the way, are lures you cast out and crank in. They generally have generally have a diving bill on them. Not always, but it's basically a cast out crank in bait that's got a wobble to it. And these diving these these crankbaits have a diving bill on them. I'm just going to show you two examples. You know, two examples of lures that I design and we make: shallow raider, depth raider. And if you look at these baits, you can just really, and any baits like this on a tackle shelf, you can tell how deep that lure is going to run and what kind of an action it's going to have. Let's just take this lure right here. When, when a diving bill comes off of the lure straight out, if this diving bill was coming off this lure straight out like this, it, it would make that lure go like this and dive real deep. And the action would be real tight as we take that diving bill and we go down with it like this it it widens the wobble and and shallows up the the the, the track ability or the the dive of the lure in fact if you take this diving bill here and you take that diving bill and you you walk it straight 90 degrees like where my finger is from that lure it will wobble right on the surface and as you come back this way it will go under the water more and you come back this and it'll tighten in action and as you go up and up and up you get more parallel with the body of the lure the deeper the lure will run so you know that that'll give you a, a, a really good basic understanding of what you're looking at when you look at a lure on the tackle shelf is how's that bait going to run and how deep is it going to go uh, here's another thing diving bill actions when you see a a squared lip like this on a minnow bait versus a round one. A squared lip like this is going to probably have more vibration than a round build one will, have more of a wobble to it. And when it hits cover, it's not going to walk over the cover as much as it's going to hit the cover and just bounce or stop. And uh, if you want a bait that, that rotates around cover, you want a rounder bill on the lure. In fact, that's why we designed the depth reader the way we did so that when it hits cover, it can't really lock up on that. It's gonna go this way or that way. And um, that's why this bait is great for bouncing over rocks and stuff like that. And, and a bait like this is really good for creating that hit, release, hit, release, hit, release style action. But you know that, that's why you see different diving bills on them. So the, all these different things can happen. Now, one last thing, and, and this is really getting into the physics of crankbaits. Look at the line tie, you know, your line tie or your where you attach your lure. When you attach your lure on this bait, wherever they, wherever a manufacturer puts this line tie on the lure will really affect the action of the lure. And in fact, you can modify these baits carefully with, with, a, with a vice grips or needle nose pliers, especially on smaller lures. You can bend these up or down to, if you bend it up, it tightens the action. You bend it down. It loosens the action, shallows up the run of the bait. So that's another thing too. And when you, when they, when you put the line tie, uh, or what you call the lure attachment, right on the diving bill itself, essentially the same thing happens. If you take this line tie and you move it up on the bill further, it's going to make it run shallower. You take that line tie and move it tighter to the nose, you're going to have more diving surface areas going to make the lure run deeper. But in summary, if you're going to a tackle store and you want to try and decipher what that action on that lure is going to be and how deep is that lure going to run, check out the diving bill, check out the size of the diving bill, check out the angle of the diving bill, and those two things alone will tell you how, uh, how deep that lure is going to run. And of course, um, one last thing, like we talked about, is the shape of the diving bill will also have an effect on the lure.